Hello. <laughs> Hope you're doing really well. You find me in a field in Essex, I think. We're in Essex. Yeah, I'm, we're pretty sure I'm in Essex. And uh, we're off to see really the remains of a heavy anti aircraft battery. Now, there's not much of it here, but as I say, what's left is surely going to be a great reminder of what's, you know, a form of preservation for World War II. So, um, anyway, beautiful sky and the fields and well, it's lovely, but it's just cold. So, let's go have a nosy, come on. Situated in the village of Little Oakley in Essex lies the remains of a former World War II heavy anti-aircraft battery that would have had commanding view overlooking the coastal town of Harwich. The site was designated H5 and became operational in 1942 to form part of the network of anti-aircraft batteries situated across the country in hopes of providing a defensive role to stop the Nazi bombers from taking out key targets in the area. The battery contained four 3.7 inch Mark II C guns arranged in a line mounted in square emplacements. But it's because of their square design it makes these batteries more uncommon than most of the batteries for the era. Its last action was on the 24th of November in 1944 when it was manned by the 439 battery of the Independent Anti-Aircraft Artillery Regiment where it formed part of the 40 light anti-aircraft battery deployment. What's left as you will see however is slowly being left to mould into nature and it's only a matter of time before this site, like others, will be a distant memory. Right, hello. Um, let me just adjust you for a second. There you go. Um, first thing I just want to note is it's so beautiful around here. I mean, like you, you're not going to pick this up, but look at that. That beautiful sea. How incredible. And there was a really beautiful view over there as well. Sort of dipped down. It's amazing. Perfect place for a heavy anti-aircraft battery. Now, this is going to be interesting because I'm going to have to talk you through it and there are only a couple of buildings that remain it's very overgrown so it's not going to be the greatest video ever but it's going to prove the point as we always say about finding these secret little sort of remains of history and uh, it all adds up doesn't it and the clouds are a bit overcast so hopefully this is all going to come out but let me explain what the scenario is because it's it's slightly different from your normal heavy anti-aircraft there's a ridge that follows in between the two fields and strangely enough it's what's in this ridge which is <laughs> the heavy anti-aircraft battery believe it or not now there's not much of it anyway that was documented as being left oh god get into the light there wasn't actually that much of it being documented that was left anyway and I've just had a quick scan and it's actually quite hard to tell what is here because even the reports are slightly muddy when I've just compared it to what there is the most important thing however was as you probably know there was a lot of history that was still contained within this which in essence is the most important thing I suppose but um yeah this is going to be our first I'm not going to apologise for this sort of scruffiness of this and trying to work out what the buildings are. So this, straight off the bat, must be a store. A cartridge, oh god if you can hear me, a cartridge store. Because over the top, looks like that goes in, okay. So, I mean I've not been in yet. And I know there's not really that much left, so yeah, and obviously the other problem <laughs> is so overgrown. Oh, wow, okay, here we go. Right, everybody, get ready for some swearing. 
Oh God, right, okay. This is the best video I've ever made, I think, on the channel. It's got it all. Suspense, danger, annoyance. <laughs> oh crap. No, I'm getting completely destroyed here by nature. Oh wow. It's all right. Oh god, keep going. Hang on. Oh, this is this is this is worth it. That so I am being principally attacked by the fear of any explorer. No, it's not cave spiders. It's freaking thistles and fawns. Oh, we've made it. Oh god, that was so not worth it. Oh, Jesus. Ah. So, I actually don't know what we're in. Isn't that fun? No idea. Can't, I genuinely cannot tell what we're in. Well, that opens up. Oh my god. Gun battery, maybe? No idea. Looks like it. Can we walk round? This is so exciting. No idea now. Oh my god. In theory, this should be gun battery number one. I think I might be able to get round the other side. But all this is is just a wall anyway. That was so not worth it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mind you, better to come here than actually in the summertime when everything's properly overgrown. At least when it's in the winter time, you can sort of escape it. I have no idea. Do you know what? No idea what we're in. Don't know what this is. Is it one of the? It must be one of the part of one of the guns, surely. But I'm be damned if I know. There's, there's literally no obvious thing to tell me. And there's wooden slats and beams there. Okay. God. This is so confusing. Sorry, everybody. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. Well, say that was nasty getting out of there. Oh God, come on, in the sun. Sorry, this is a really bad video. Um, yeah, God, to say that was nasty getting out of that was an understatement. Now we've got this building. We may have another one over there. But, no idea now. I am so thrown off by what I've been looking at. the hell is this? Okay. No idea. Should we look inside? Yeah, that really doesn't help, does it? Oh, no, I know. I know, I know, I know. So... This is one of the anti-aircraft batteries, guns, because they were laid out in a square and that is a square and it's open so we've located one maybe the second one was the first one that we went in but I'll be damned if I can get in there this is a square structure and I remember obviously it says in the history lesson that they're unusual because they're square so I think we've located one at least, even though there should be a fair few, but obviously we're not gonna see that. I'm sorry about this, there's really not that much to show you, and obviously that's a lot of crawling. We've located one. Should we pat, no, we won't pat ourselves on the back for that, but we found one. But then there's not meant to be, I mean, all of them are in ruins anyway, so this probably is the best condition. 
I'll just pop you over one more time. Not that it makes any difference because it is so overgrown. So there would have been a gun in there basically. <laughs> Lemon's terms, gun. Now let's see what else we can find. Come on. Right, hat's completely ruined. And I can't seem to, although I'm on this side. So we'll probably walk around and uh, see what else, if, it, if it's more clearer on the other side. Oh, there's some beehives. That's nice. Lots of bees. So yeah. <laughs> I know you came to see an anti-aircraft battery. I, I promise you that there is there are remains of one in there, but my god, that's so overgrown. Let's um see if we can walk round. Get free to or shall I head back? Might head back and walk back round. Yes, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do that. But don't worry, I'm taking you with me because no time today for fussy, fussy shots. Oh, well, it's beautiful round here and that's the shame of it is that in essence, we're trying to find some really tiny remains of a heavy only aircraft battery and actually it's proof of when over time and obviously in farmers fields and stuff how this stuff gets destroyed and yet we've seen plenty of examples on the channel of when these things are in really good condition and what I mean by good condition is I mean they're not being used as monuments or like museums pieces but uh yeah I mean if we say that's number that's a gun that's a that's a gun sight you know what I'm talking about oh my god and then it would just follow here in a straight line from what I remember seeing. And that they were in a square design. So yeah, let's have a look from the other side. So what's interesting is that this footpath pretty much cuts through the battery anyway. I'm just trying to see if there's any I mean I'm sure there's lots of stuff in there and I'm sure some of you who live in the area will remember fondly exploring this. And we were down there and we could see it from that side. If we have a look here, we can see the other side of the, the well, at least one of the guns. Because that's the thing that I sort of noticed when I was coming down here and I was trying to figure it out. So if you can see that, there's as much as it does. Yeah, that's the corner. So what's here then? Oh, I don't know, I see people treading. But what are they treading on? Nothing. That's interesting. Or am I missing something? No is the answer. Okay, walk round. Again, suspense is killing us. Best video ever on the channel, come on. Let's have a look. Joe, you know I'm thinking I quite like the way I'm doing this. It's old school, it's old school Phoenix history. It's pre-Phoenix history days. I just used to grab the camera and I'd just talk to you endlessly about the history and try and locate stuff. And yet here I am. Although there really isn't that much here. <laughs> it is literally so overgrown, it's incredible. Always remain optimistic though, but on this occasion, no. That is it everybody. Sad but true. Right, well, on that sad note, isn't it sad? Uh, I was expecting to see a, a bit more, if I'm being honest. A little bit more. But isn't that the beauty of nature? As long as nature's taking it over, I don't care. So there you go, proof. <laughs> there was a heavy anti-aircraft battery here. 
and it was very small. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't small. It would have been its normal natural length. However, all that remains is hardly anything. We did look over, so we could see at least in on top and in, and even then that was so overgrown, wasn't it? Trying to figure out what that other thing was. It must be munition stores, shell storage. I don't know on that one. Hmm. Anyway, on that note, let me face the sun. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Sorry about this interesting video. Feel free to dislike this one. Or you can applaud me for the effort of at least documenting it. You know, like I said, it's at least something remains of it. And, uh, you know, it's probably better than nothing, isn't it, really? So, uh, thank you so much for coming along with me. And in what words of Phoenix history, although it should be pre-Phoenix history, uh, pre-Phoenix history video, I'll say thank you for coming along with me. Take care, everybody. In hopefully you enjoyed this little video. And uh, stay safe no matter what you're doing. Love to all of you out there. Take care. And, uh, yeah, because history matters, kapow.